name one. Oh, hello. <laughs> hello, sir. How's it going? Hey, what's up? Can you hear us? I don't think Ralph realizes that he's uh he's muted in here. <laughs> is he uh, still <laughs> grasping with the controls? Is he? <laughs> that should be okay. Oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, I think I know what it yeah, is. Yeah, let me. You only go let it. No, 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 no. It's okay. Hey, Ralph. Okay, uh, that should be working. I just didn't. It didn't switch me over to voice meter. There you go. Ah, it looks like I missed. Uh, uh, looks like I missed a little bit of fun. I didn't realize quartering was streaming. I was off doing other things. Why is he so mad? That's what I don't understand. I I don't know. I don't know why he's so angry. Um, you know, I mean, I have a reason to be angry. I was watching some HBO earlier. You ever watch <laughs> HBO, Ralph? I have watched HBO. Yes. One of my favorite series is Rome. And yes. uh, Rome is good. <laughs> Actually, you know what? <laughs> Rome, and I already know what this is. Rome well, I, is seriously, <laughs> they only made two seasons of it, but it's one of the best programs it, it, to it, ever it, air it, on it television. Is. Well, they're going to do a third season, but they want to replace right? uh, they want to replace the main actor with the black guy. And oh, I was okay. like, you can't have a black Caesar. No, nah, that's not right. You can't do that's that. That's not right at all. No, nah, you can't. But no, um, <laughs> I actually, I, w I was watching something else. I, I will admit, um, somebody sent me something on Twitter. I don't know if you're aware of this or not, but uh, they're either ops going afoot or Andy's going to have a really bad day tomorrow. Yeah, um, so I did see that. Um, yeah. They, I mean, why don't you explain it to take the heat off me? I, I did. I'll, I'll take the heat off you. Uh, well, I've only watched like 20 minutes of it, so I, I probably missed bits and pieces. But um, somebody's alleging uh, that Andy was uh, having sexual conversations with an underage girl on Snapchat. And there's a stream going on uh, claiming it's presenting its evidence. And uh, apparently that evidence was brought forward by anal vape. Uh, to whatever the stream is. I don't now, know. Anal Vape himself um, was caught out uh, talking to a minor, correct? It's kind of hard to... I mean, I don't know if you know the whole story, like the whole... No, I, I, don't know that, uh, yeah. I don't know the deepest lore on that shit. I know that uh, something happened with him. Like He used to like go on Andy's streams and then he stopped, so I don't know. When yeah, so he was caught in Discord talking to a minor. I don't know if they are 15 or 16. Um... So yeah, I'm not sure. I'll just take take anal vape's word for it. But yeah, I did see that that was going on. So shit's on fire everywhere tonight. But um, apparently, quartering is uh, he's a little bit salty. I don't know what you want to talk. What what should we talk about? Should we talk about the excellent series Rome? Should I mean, we, talk we could. About we could. I, I don't know if you've seen every episode like me. I even have it on. You know, have it downloaded here to the hard drive. A lot of, oh, a lot of other download. sumptuous favorites. You know. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't know if you want to talk about that. If you want to talk about the the, the Andy stream that's going on, like I don't know what the fuck's going on with that. I, I mean, like I said, I've only caught twenty minutes of it. It looks like it's been going on for like an hour and a half. Should we turn? Look, uh, I mean, we could turn that on. Uh, I do know. I did. I did speak with Andy about this. Uh, I, I'm I'm pretty sure he's denying all, um, all the charges here. So. Um, yeah, I, uh, well, I, I have no idea. Uh, this is why. Uh, <laughs> this is why I don't interact with people. <laughs> this is why I, I. I just I play video games and then I make fun of people on YouTube, and it works out really well for me. I don't know about this uh, whole chatting up, uh, chatting up people that uh, that are around that are that are fans, and you get uh, potentially have ops pulled on you. Create well, you didn't create a Pornhub account or anything like that. Is, is, there, is there something out there we need to be on on guard for? No, see, I've always been under the assumption that the porn's not going to disappear, so I don't need an account, to save it, <laughs> right? Like it's just it's going to be there the next day. Actually, the whole the the most disgraceful part of the whole thing is actually having a Pornhub account in the first place. I'm um, just but, like I, I I'm surprised people have accounts on porn sites. Like I've never no. got that unless there's like is there really good shit behind like the membership? <laughs> like, do you sign up and then that's the good stuff nobody knows about? Because <laughs> I don't get it. Well, it was, it was like six years ago and. I think I signed up because um, you could download the porn if you signed up. Uh, Save it for a rainy day when the uh, internet goes out. Yeah. yeah, when you can't. Yeah, exactly. When when porn becomes scarce. Uh, I'm not sure what my mindset was. I mean, think about it this way. Six years ago, Ralph was a socialist Obama voter. So <laughs> there's all kinds of shit here. That's true. But, but didn't you... Wait, you, you the last time... Was it the last time you were on? You, you talked about you were watching uh, Gay Naruto Hentai. Yeah, yeah, uh, me and H-Bomber guy. Yeah, we did, uh, Haberman had a series called, what the fuck was it called? Because he did f uh, films for Fustelarians where we would shit on retards on the internet. 
And then he did one called like After Dark, which is where I got the idea for Deviance After Dark because I'm so original. <laughs> uh, but the nice thing was like he could host it on the site. So it was we would go and watch the most ridiculous porn and then do commentary over it. And it was um, like mystery science theater type shit. Yeah, and this like Naruto porn was fucking horrendous. I don't know if you've watched like a lot of uh, '90s anime, but you know like the dubs they used to do, how they used to be just yeah. fucking awful. It was like that. It was like somebody's fanfic of Naruto with really awful fan made dubs. Uh, it was pretty good. I don't, I don't know. Habe's kind of deleted everything, so all that shit's lost to the fucking ether. But I will say we enjoyed it. H Bomber guy and I enjoyed that Naruto porn. Bonded over it. We bonded over it. Yeah. <laughs> A little bit of a cooperation across the ocean. By the way, I'm watching this stream. I don't know if you have it pulled up or not, but uh, pathetic. With her rape, I'm not sure uh, what's going on here. Well, well, it wasn't a rape yeah, well, I mean, I, I was watching. Like I said, I caught about 20 minutes of it. They're going over like screen caps, and, and like I said, from from what I got, uh, some chick claims she talked to Worski that she's underage, that she has records of the conversations. I guess gave it to Anal Vape, and then Anal Vape brought it to what's the name of the stream? Um, hold on, let me take it off. It is Secrets and Snapchats, which for my tabloid history, that's that's not a bad title. Actually. That's a good it's a good title. It's yeah. a it's a catcher. Yeah, I like but, that. But um yeah, it brought it to them and then they've been streaming about it. But uh, there's like an hour before I started paying attention, so I, I don't know, you know, what they talked about before that. So, so I'm looking I mean, I guess we'll have to go back to see exactly what they've shown. Um but yeah, I, I I don't know the whole history. I did I did talk to Andy. I mean, I guess he had caught in wind of, you know, caught wind of what was going to happen earlier. I did talk to him about it. Um, he said it was bullshit. So I I don't know. We we, we I don't know if he's around now. If he's listening, uh, feel free to come on. But uh, yeah, yeah, it's the first I've heard of it. So I got no idea on it either. And so we it have that. We bingo. Yeah, it go ahead, bingo that, that all these names. All these names of all these people that once associated with each other keep popping up, taking pot shots at, at different people constantly. Really, yeah, uh, activates the old almonds. Almonds activated. <laughs> um, seems like gay ops never end. It seems like a lot of it centers around Discord. I remember a certain gentleman uh, talking about Discord being cancer. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Discord is fucking cancer. I don't. I wouldn't touch it. It seems like anytime you use Discord, it just leads to fucking heartache. I can't think of one group that's used it where it didn't blow up in their face. Well, so I guess it's a blessing and the curse. So you get you get callers, you get you get material of other people spurring out, but then you also get the the gay ops type shit. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I have I have considered deleting the Discord. Now I, I see you put quartering back up on screen. So yes. does he think you're still fully paying attention to him? Is he still in rage mode or is he calmed down a little bit? Is this soy kicked in? I'm not sure. I so I don't have it turned up. I, I sent him the link. Uh, let me see if we can get him on. Didn't you? Didn't you have a Discord or a Discord caller call in and basically accuse him of what he's doing right now? Where they're like, yes. you show up and you're two faced. Yes. You're really nice on stream, but then when you're not on stream, you talk all this shit. Yeah, and he did the same thing to you, too. Apparently, he was going in on you for whatever reason. Because I made fun of Gamergate, too, and told uh, Sargon he's a fucking retard. But you're right. We all said that to Sargon's face. Well, Everybody's I think, saying I, I that. Think, uh, yeah. quartering, I think quartering might, uh, you know, maybe it's a little more personal to him. Uh, did he ever Did he ever say anything? I, I mentioned a private DM conversation with one of the capos. Has he said anything about that? Yeah, he, said yeah, he copped to that, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, it was him, so... I think it's more personal for him, and he doesn't like the idea of being shit on. Yeah, I don't know. It's but a I, dumb idea. Dude, even the, the people they were trying to quote-unquote troll are laughing at them. I mean, you, what did you think of the BBC audio earlier, by the way? The the British Broadcasting Corporation, let me just clarify. That well, audio. He, he kept throwing in jabs. He was like, um, nobody wanted to get the publicity, <laughs> but Carl did. <laughs> and then he said, uh, he basically said he's having a midlife crisis. Yeah, that's pretty much what he said. Uh, we try, we try to talk to everybody, but only Carl was willing to to sit down and and go on the record. And yeah, he pretty much said, "What did he call it? A uh, a midlife Tory crisis? A Tory is yeah. the right wing." I, I see your chat saying, uh, "Quartering said I have Sargon derangement syndrome." Can these faggots not steal everything that they use? 
What was it? Sargon's Law? Oh, you mean projection? Yeah, no, that's existed for a while. I mean, you can slap a new name tag on that, but that doesn't make it something different. Well, so and then the, he takes Trump derangement syndrome and applies it to himself. Yeah, I was about God, to say, what kind of ego do you have to? So I've heard Bush derangement syndrome. I've heard Trump derangement syndrome. I guess even Obama derangement syndrome. You're putting yourself on the level of, of a U.S. president when you talk about derangement syndrome. It's just, uh, it's weird. Should but you don't understand. They're it. owning those epic SJWs. Somebody's got to put those fucking feminists in a place. Yeah. What, what did you think? Did you hear Keemstar came on here earlier? Did Keemstar come on here and actually pitch ethics and games he journalism? He actually did, yeah. <laughs> he actually did. Oh, if I, I'd have I, been on, I'd have been laughing at that. I didn't I didn't in, I didn't interrupt him. I just I just let him But but on. he is right uh in the one regard that Sargon was one of those people that yeah. was like it's about ethics. So it is weird that he turned around and be like, Let's let's trigger the libs. Let's own the libs. I well, love that. That was the Monday point that I clip. thought was relevant. So look, I mean ethics and games journalism nobody gives a fuck about that they probably really didn't give a fuck about it ever but sargon was one of the people you know true believers no nah, we gotta stick to ethics and gaming journalism you can't get off track you can't you know attack sjw's we just need to keep it strictly about the ethics angle and now here he is saying oh well let's bring back gamergate so we control the libs and on the libs uh, which is completely 180 of what he said, uh, you know, a couple of years ago. So. Now, if if quartering yeah. is um, is doing a stream and it was uh, initially to shit talk me, why did what uh, changed his perspective? Why did he shift gears towards the kill stream? Uh, I think because we sent over about two or three hundred people to fuck with him. I think that the, you doubled his audience. You yeah. madman. Yeah, we we kind of we kind of did that. Uh, well, people told me that he was talking shit about me. I don't know. I didn't hear it. Um, and then, you know, we pulled up his stream and then he was he was talking shit about you and he said you and some other person. So I don't know if it was me or, or somebody else. And then all of a sudden he's just like, well, I'm cool with the kill stream and, and all this and that. So I don't I don't really know what his deal is, but I sent him the link and I know he's I know he saw it. I mean, he had to have seen it. Uh, oh, I, I'm sure he saw it. Somebody said he wanted 500 bucks. huh? Yeah. Fuck that. Do, do not give that man five hundred dollars. Doesn't he got? Like, he, doesn't he have like forty or fifty thousand from the fucking lawsuit by getting hit by a tranny? I mean, he should be he should be fine <laughs> for cash for a while, shouldn't he? Well, he, he did say he was a millionaire as well. Yeah, so. him and CRP had the boomer fight, and they were talking about how much money they have in the bank. Uh, what was it that CRP said that always makes? Oh, I have three children by four wives. I still don't know how that works out. But it does. There's some mathematical shit going on. Say that. Yeah, you actually saw that because I remember you tweeted out. It was on Sedan's show, uh, but that was one of the my favorite moments from Killstream. Even though it wasn't an official Killstream show, when they got on there and just started fucking shitting on each other, I I had to mute myself because I was laughing so hard when CRP fucking said that. Who says that? God, you should try. It would be great if we could get CRP and him to go at it again. Oh, my God. I'm sure well, CRP would be game. I've been trying to set up round two, and it's just never happened. So they both supposedly owed me a round two. And then, you know, CRP was down, but he lives in the Ukraine. So it was a couple of, you know, weird times and stuff. Um, and we could just never set it up. And now I don't know if Cordy will do it or not. But um, uh, who, who knows? Who knows? Oh, oh, before you go, I can tell. Yeah. I can tell you're getting antsy. Oh, I, I don't want to miss any Romans. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, no joke. I'm not even kidding. Rome is one of the best shows you could ever watch on television, uh, especially dealing with the Roman Empire. The second season gets a little off well, course condense, in terms of like, historical three accuracy. Yeah, 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 they had to condense three yeah. seasons into one because the show got pulled. Yeah, but, and they spent so much fucking money. They were actually filming it in fucking Italy on custom made sets and shit. And and I know I know you did this as, as a joke, but literally, it's one what? of the best shows you could ever watch. Yeah, I know. Far <laughs> be it from you to ever do that. But Rome is one of the best Rome shows you could ever watch dealing with Roman history and also I, Claudius. Now, that's going way back, but uh, I, Claudius. Well, I mean, what is your opinion? Like, so, like, they're going to do a season three. Caesar's going to be blacked. If he defeats yeah. his enemies, would you say his enemies got blacked? <laughs> is that what we would I guess be? so. I mean... They got, uh, they got blacked pretty hard. Yeah, they got blacked, yes. Uh, oh, you want... You, I'm not going to go... I'm not going to go into it fully because... Anyway, I'll just stop. Uh, what, what did you think of the $30,000 donation that Brittany Vinny got? Oh, that's got to be a troll. Somebody's going to nail her with chargeback fees, unless she's got like an Arab prince watching her. I've seen that happen before, where like some Arab guy with you know millions of dollars is like, 
here you go, stream, stream, uh, Camor. Here, here you go. Here's the money. Come now, I don't know if you country. saw the uh, Nick Monroe, who, you know, has been around for a while. Um, he actually put out the screenshots. I mean, at least, uh, you know, I don't know if they'll try a chargeback, but it, it does seem to be been legitimate, at least, that it went through in the first place. Uh, and he said that she put it through her bank account. So, um, I don't know. Oh, well, I, I, I guess she got uh, she got the big bucks. Uh, was she was putting that towards what was it? Breast implants? She's gonna have like a <laughs> triple Z's by the end of it with that kind of fucking money. I don't know. Thirty grand. Thirty grand. I mean. So I mean, Jeremy's Jeremy's not gonna join us. Is I he? don't know. He's not, me, uh, he's not coming on. Let me let me check. Uh, I mean, I, you know what I could do? I could just tweet him in, in front of God and everybody. Let me try that. Uh, just tell him to pay what he owes. He said he'd give you a round two. I mean, like, pay what you owe. Now, you know, the other day when we tried to get him on at the end of the Sargon stream, uh, he said, oh, I would have came on, but I was, what'd he say, Zidane? And he was mowing his yard or something. Uh, okay. The <laughs> way he's mowing his, uh, he's mowing it's his yard. That's really what night. he said, yeah, yeah. That he was mowing his yard. Oh, it's midnight here. Better start up the lawnmower. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll tell you what. I tweeted him out in public, so we'll see. So, oh, we'll see if he if he pops on. I'll give it a few minutes. All right, we'll get but yeah, I have wild shit going on all over the place. So I guess uh, well, Andy's show in the morning is gonna be <laughs> it's gonna be memorable. Well, he's got some content. Uh, he's got some fucking content. All right. I'm not sure if that's the kind you want, but. You know, you have to take what you can get, right? I don't know if I'd want to be taking that, but <laughs> it is what it is, isn't it? So you did your stream yesterday. Um, yeah, it's mostly recap shit. Uh, but I mean, you know, not everybody that uh, tunes in for my shit watches other sure. streams. And so when I'm doing like four or five different ones all over the fucking place, no, and a, lot no, of the, no. a lot of the people watching too thought uh, Game Brigade 2 is as gay as it sounds. There wasn't there wasn't many positive uh, positive takes on it. I'll be honest with you. I don't really see unless you're a complete Sargon sycophant. I really don't see how you could see that this is a positive idea. Uh, and even some of his like diehard you know listeners, whatever you want to call them, watchers, have said, "Wow, this is this is a dumb idea, Carl. What are you doing here?" Um, but I guess what I was going to ask you next week, uh, you know, some people have been saying, I think even you said this, uh, Sherrod's kind of got a pass uh, these two or three weeks. Is, is that, yeah, is that still going to happen? Yeah. Throwing themselves on landmines for him. Yeah. Uh, but uh, finally get to get to talk about shit rat and his money and having mommy clean up his pee pee and his autism oh. posts and just just his transition into Davida. It, I think it'll be a good stream. I think so too. All right. So I tweeted at him. We'll see. I guess we can. I said, we're waiting on you. You owe us a round two. So we'll see if he comes on. Gentlemen, fill up a question because I've run out of questions. Caesar can only do so much. You know what I mean? He has to. Have <laughs> so, so the one thing that fucking uh, Monday Matt in the clip that you made about him owning the libs, these fuckers are the libs. Fucking Monday Matt is a Hillary chill. And Sargon is a center leftist. So he, he, well, Sargon originally supported Sanders. Yeah. The yeah, fuck are they talking about? You've got all these, uh, you know, uh, Democrats talking about owning the libs. It's really, it, yeah, hearing Monday and Matt say something like trigger the libs was fucking bizarre because he is a lib. I don't fucking get it. Now I can't use that line. He ruined it. <laughs> He's he's fucking uh, tainted it, has he? Yeah. Well, just like they're they're harping on the NPC thing. I think uh, I can't remember who said it on Warski's show, but they said, "Good job, Sargon. It only took you a week to destroy the NPC meme." No, yeah, he's very good at that. He's very efficient at killing fun. No, that's that's <laughs> true. I, I I saw his stream. He did a stream. Um, what the fuck one was? Oh, it was I think on Warski or the one he did with V. But all his fans were spamming NPC this, NPC that. So it, that's gonna get fucked in its ass, and they're the way they're using it too. It's just, uh, I don't know, I don't know. All right, let me ask you this: Are you still gonna do a better help video? Yeah, yeah, uh, I plan on doing that. I'll be the la I'll be the last to do it. <laughs> I still plan on doing that, and you know, specifically talking about DeFranco. So I, I saw the uh, yeah. stream earlier uh, with DeFranco abandoning BetterHelp, and I mean, somebody had linked it to me. 
it, it just does anybody really buy it? Does somebody no. release a public statement saying, "Hey, went to their their corporation, talked to everybody, everything's totally great, everything's above board, but we're not going to work together anymore." Seems a little a little sketchy, doesn't it? It's a little it's a little uh, bullshittery going on. After especially after he spent what I don't know ten days trying to defend it to to the last man, and I guess some of his what was it? I don't know if it was a stream or. A town hall or something got leaked over the weekend he didn't expect to come out and they juxtaposed that footage with some of the stuff he'd already said in his other videos and they didn't really match up and then today he pretty much just disowned the whole thing and he's like well i was trying to do good but now i'm just gonna move on i I see some people have some problems with it so i'm just gonna move on yeah yeah i heard what keem said earlier too the guy and i've heard this from other people that he was somewhere between like eight to 25 million dollars in personal wealth and then he, you know, he's got the um, <clears throat> Patreon for the elite thing, and he's, it's like thirteen thousand patrons, even at like five dollars minimum, is fifty grand a month. And he's been doing that for like a year, so that's half a million dollars. But does he invest that into the news organization? No, he puts it into a fucking marketing company, and then he uses that to partner at a company level with BetterHelp, and then sets up. And I told Boogie this when we were on stream with him. I said, "You're getting fucked over. They're screwing you." And it turns out I'm right because DeFranco used somebody he knew that worked for Boogie to manipulate him. And Boogie sat on stream and said, no, nobody I work with would fuck me. Well, guess what, Boogie? You just got bent over and defucked. That's what I'm calling it. It's, yeah, you got defucked right up your ass. Oh, they're all telling you you're muted. Um, see, I'm muted. Okay. Having well, a I, I, yeah. Was was me talking about Rome? Did that yeah, get you? Yeah, Rome. You know, that gets me excited. excited. Yes. Button. Yes. Exactly. You know, Roman history. That's my thing. Everybody loves history. It's great <laughs> <stuff>. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I, what I was saying uh, was basically that uh, I, when I heard him say that lob, I was thinking Boogie's full of shit. You know, he's lying right now. But then it comes out that no, he wasn't. He actually was telling the truth, um, and that DeFranco just completely went behind his back. But when you hear it live, you're like, "Well, Boogie's this guy. How many subs does he have? I don't know. It's in the millions, right?" Yeah. Here's the thing: if I were a, a large YouTuber that has an agent or some asshole working marketing for me, um, I would make sure that they don't know DeFranco. Like, I that would be the thing I do the very next day because. If he's using personal connections to get people to do work with him and then the company turns out to be shady, you're just fucking yourself over. Like, who knows how often DeFranco does that? I'm sure this shit's all incestuous like it is with any other fucking, uh, you know, entertainment industry with Hollywood or anything like that where agents all know each other and they're looking for the best deal for themselves and they can fuck their client over. Yeah, but you just figure, I mean, I guess when I heard it live, I was like, well, this guy's got, what, two or three million subs? I don't even know how many. A lot. In the millions. I'm thinking, how does he not know? There's no way he doesn't know what's going on. I mean, at a certain level, of course, it's fucked up for DeFranco to do that. But, I mean, you need to know what's going on with your own fucking business, right? I mean, (laughs) at a certain point, it's also on Biggie, uh, Biggie, (laughs) Boogie, uh, and his representatives and the people he's picked to, you know, do his business for him, right? I mean, part of it's on him. Uh, uh, Gents, I think uh, think the quarter is giving you the cold shoulder. Oh, let's see. Did he say something? Him. No, he's just kind of so oh, playing Dragon Quest and pretending you don't exist. Yeah, I don't think he's going to come. Let me check Twitter once again. Yeah, no, he's he's, he's acting like he didn't see it. All right, well, I guess that's it. We're already, what, 30 minutes over time anyway. I appreciate you coming on to uh, help close yeah, out the yeah. show. Yo, yeah, no, I always love to come on and have fun conversations. <laughs> 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 Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Yeah, uh, you guys have a good night. All right, you, you too, too man.